Okay, let's go. So welcome back. And yeah, last time we set up some blue circuit production, some modules, I think. And oh yeah, we also did this. Just copy pasted the one we had up here. And just popped it down here as well to get some more plastic. And uh, yeah, uh, above all, I have also expanded the borders here and uh, claimed this iron ore patch. So what I'm going to do next is probably just expand this one more cell of the uh, of the defense grid, and then start mining this iron ore so that I can speed up all of this stuff here. Oh, now this actually has enough steel. But it's low on iron? No, it is full on iron. What is this not getting then? Oh no, okay, there, there is not enough steel for the rails, okay. Also, this needs to be like that. Hello, Ibethocracy. Good evening. Hope you're doing well. So yeah, we have now produced quite a lot of modules here. It's quite nice. And more are coming in all the time. Maybe I don't actually need all that many more though. Let's see what the limit on this is. 200, let's make that more like... 50. I don't think this game will really last all that much longer. Because I am already quite close to finishing out the rocket research. I just need this one and then this one. So I need, yeah, a total of 5,200 utility science packs and even a bit less if I use uh, upgraded modules in all of the labs. Speaking of which, let's take a look here. Yeah, I'm gonna need to upgrade these to use better modules and I probably don't need all of these labs anymore. Since I probably won't have enough stuff to feed them anyway. <laughs> so let's do that and then upgrade these labs to better modules. That is 48. I currently have how many? Currently have 10. Let's do these first. And actually disable these, I think. An easier way to do that is to just cut this belt here. I should also, I guess, set up a recycling chest for uh, purple science. Can do that here. So we'll have purple science. Put that there, then I can recycle those, and eventually I will need one for yellow science as well. I guess I can probably put that one just right here. Okay, so those are coming in there, so I can do the same kind of thing for yellow science. One here, I think. Oops. And then these will come in there. No. Let's see if we have any science packs. Oh, we do have some science packs in the network. Where are those? There are a few. Let's get those back in circulation. And where are the rest? Are they in here maybe? Yeah, okay, there are a few of those there. Okay. Those should get consumed eventually, I suppose. 
Okay, those are already upgraded, cool. Let's also upgrade these then. And for that I probably don't have enough. Yeah, I do not. But at least uh, the ones I just recycled will... Or the ones I just picked up will get recycled into these now. Good, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, doing good too. Thank you. Uh, like I said, getting very close to finishing this uh, run, actually. Actually, I think I want to go for a bit of extra flair here and actually go for space science and send a, a satellite in the first rocket, just because. So that means I need twice as much, or even three times as much uh, yellow science. <laughs> well, let's do it. It'll be fun. Oh, these need... Okay, these just need some better modules. Those should be incoming as well. Yeah. Just a bit slow. Because we're low on red circuits. But these are fully fed. Uh, which means I can, for starters, just upgrade these machines. And then maybe I can even add a few more lines of these. Thirteen remaining in the network. Yeah, but it looks like, yeah, these are just upgrading everything. Cool. Anything else I can upgrade? I guess I could upgrade these, but... Yeah, I already have... I'm not short on blue circuits right now. So I don't think I really need to. should increase flow of these by almost twice. Oh no, wait, it's these. Yeah, almost twice, yeah. Now let's see if the plastic is still enough in the green circuits. I guess, yeah, I also have a beacons now, so I could even squeeze some beacons in there, actually. So then I need a beacon ghost. Please build a beacon here. Oh, I don't have any beacons. Because that is short on wires, because I haven't placed an input inserter here. Whoops. Okay, so I'm not going to get that beacon in a while. Uh, but at least I can see here when it does get made. That's cool. It looks like these are mostly upgraded now. Cool. And actually, am I able... Yeah, I, I'm actually making more science than I can use with these. I want to wait for these to get upgraded before I enable those again. That should be somewhat soon. Yeah, two are incoming. I should also just upgrade these machines, shouldn't I? There's not really much reason not to do it. Since throughput here is a limiting thing. Or, well, actually it's a little red circuit input, I suppose, but... Yeah. At least right now that I have these here... Yeah, I'm backed up on red circuits here, so... As long as I have these, I can use some more speed here. So what's going on? It's down... Oh, it's out there. And they ate a few robots, or rather, the flamethrowers killed a few robots, I think. But okay, let's continue expanding this. Just like that, I suppose. It's gonna get a bit messy with these, I guess, but that's fine. So I should also get started making concrete, because I'm gonna need that for the rocket silo. Which I don't have this technology for yet, but... There. Yeah, I'm gonna need just some ordinary concrete. 
Oh, and also some electric engines. So maybe I should make a few of those and just feed out. So are these fully fed? Yes, these are fully fed. Okay. And they're soon going to have filled up the 10,000 10, robot quota that I, uh, that I have set for them. Yeah, I should upgrade these machines too. And maybe upgrade these two productivity modules as well. On the other hand, they're really only consuming green circuits, so maybe not. Yeah, I won't spend level 3 modules on these. Uh, but let's see, I have 10 of those machines and only 4 of these, so these are actually not keeping up, I think. So let's get one more down there. And then I can use some of this engine's output and just box it up up here. Uh, so like that, and... There. And we'll do... Actually this can have just a normal um, logistic connection. So as long as there are fewer than... How many? 500, I think? Or maybe 200? Yeah, 200. Okay, as long as there are fewer than 200 engines, keep that working. And... Concrete. For concrete I need stone, iron ore, stone brick and water. I think I have most of that over here. Yes, there's stone brick, there's iron ore. I can just put up a concrete factory right in here. Do I need these? I'll just replace these small power poles with some big ones. Looks like, yeah, nothing. Actually, it is critical. <laughs> This entire base is hinging on these power poles. Okay, no. No longer. That radar still uses it though. Let's get rid of this belt. Because I'm not really moving anymore. So, let's place some assemblers in here. Okay, where are they eating? Oh, it's these, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> There's a lot of noise down here. Uh, but okay, those are up and running, it seems. Well, at least those, that one. This one has gone destroyed. But yeah, I'm just gonna need some more of these. To clear out some of these nests. And I can recycle this. Not, not all of it, because I still need... Yeah, I still need some connections here. So I can recycle until here, approximately. Okay, that's a lot of the pipes. Always just goes do a 180 when they're one meter away from finishing the build. Silly robots. But okay, concrete. Uh, I had an assembler there. That's gonna make concrete, and I need. Oh, I do not. Yeah, I don't. I do not need one for. Iron sticks. I only need that for for refined concrete, which I don't think I will be making here. So let's just place a bunch of these. So that's gonna need iron ore, stone brick, and water. So this one will cannot fit a splitter in there, but I can do like this.
this is where I'll let it straight down. And split this off here. And this probably also doesn't need a full red belt. that gives that makes a slightly cleaner build or more symmetrical like this and I can feed water in like this and output like this These will work as long as I have less than like 1000 concrete, maybe. And then I also need to connect this water pipe. Your pump, yes. Let's go there. And there, that shouldn't get this running. Once I get the assemblers. Oh, and these are out of. Okay. I'll just downgrade these. They still really need to be upgraded anyway. Okay, this is mostly finished up. Can do one more layer. So we're probably not gonna make it quite all the way out. Yeah, this is no longer needed. And I guess I should just start designing some yellow signs as well. That's 21 seconds, that is 20 seconds. So I should definitely just do a direct insertion of flying robot frames here. Uh, what about low density structures? Those are also 20 seconds. But I need three for each of these. Let's find the blind spot in here. I don't have a blind spot anymore. Okay. Let's just get rid of these then. Wait, first of these two. Now these two. Or, well, all of those. Yeah, that should clean this up. And now I'll have a space in here where I can build without having the robots actually build it. So we need one for yellow signs, we need one for low density structure, one for those, and what else? Blue signs, I won't make those uh, at the same place. So, let's do some designing. So these will be direct insertion. They did clean this up, okay. So let's get a radar down so I can take a closer look. 
And in the meantime, expand this way. Don't think I want to go that close to both of these nests at the same time. So I'll just do this one for now. How are these doing? Yeah, these don't have enough plastic anymore. They do occasionally, it seems. Okay, this has saved up quite a lot of uh, solid fuel. It's good. We can use that for rocket fuel later. Yeah, and this is empty now, so we can deconstruct that. So is this working? No. Because I need power poles there too. Are there beacons coming? No. Item ingredient shortage. Why? Oh, not enough red circuits. Okay. Yeah, because those would all be consumed here. Is this working? Also no. Because this has no plastic. Because this has no petroleum? Yeah. No, it has no coal. Okay, because these are eating all the coal. So if I take that power plant down... Wait, where... Oh, this is... Yeah, this is no longer able to feed everything. Okay. Then... Uh, I guess we're gonna need to tap these two as well. Okay. Means we need to push a bit further than I had planned, but that's okay. Shouldn't be all that hard to do. Okay, this is finished, so I can just pick this up. And recycle this. Still looking good on oil. Is this working? No, this is working though. Let's expand this one here. Let's put one there too. Oh, there. back here. So, we need stuff like this, and then we need processing units and low density structures on the other side of the belt. So let's do pros or low density structures down here. And we're gonna need three of those for each one of those. Do like this. And those need 20 copper, 30 plastic, and 2 steel. So we can do plastic, copper, steel. Let's just wait for that to finish. So that's plastic, that's steel and copper. So does this actually need 
Costume sorters. With upgraded capacity, I don't think it does. Yeah, but I'll put fast inserters anyway. Like that. So we're going to need 10 sets of this, I guess. Wait, how, how am I doing these? I think I'm doing those equal to crafting time. Yes. Or almost. Yeah, so I'm going to need 10 sets of those, which means 15 sets of this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. frames we're going to need a bunch of things so oh, yeah I'm gonna need some more electric engine things down here as well I suppose like this whole thing that. But then this will go here instead. Instead of that belt. Okay. So then that's gonna be just green circuits, I think. Yes. Just green circuits, and this will need steel, gears, and pipes. Just gonna place that in library for now, get it out of the way. So let's see, let's downgrade these, just because, so we have them all on the same level while I'm building. And uh, let's see. Yeah, it can probably be something like that. And uh, yeah, I probably want to do the pipes on the inside, pipes and gears on the inside. Something like that, and then steel there. And then the steel also needs to come in to the low density structures, but I think I probably need separate belts for those anyway. Uh, so up there, that's gonna be yeah, that's gonna be the low density structures. So maybe do those on the other side of this. Like something like this. I can replicate this. Two, three, four, five. Ten times and twenty-one. I'll make twenty-two just to make it e to make the numbers even. Okay, so then this belt will just go this way. And in there. Then I need one more space in here. Oh, whoops. And 
that will be the outfit belt. Pretty okay, I think. So these are 22s, which means I need 11 of these. And that is 6, so let's just double it. That should do. And then I probably need to, to double these as well. Let's see. I need for 12 machines of that. So for 10 of them, I need 2 machines. No, I need 1 machine of pipes, right? No, wait, I need... For 10 of these, I need two pipes per cycle. But yeah, one of these machines does make two pipes per cycle, so this should be enough. So why has it not been enough in here? I think I needed two. Oh, because these are 24? Yeah, whatever. I have the space for this, so let's just do like that. It's gonna be iron input. And I can just compact this a bit, there's no reason not to. Uh, here needs to be green circuits input iron input steel input and this needs what else batteries and steel input and green circuits okay so this one needs to be split somewhere what am i doing that up here green circuits on the outer one. Yeah, along with engines. So green circuits goes like that. And then just batteries and steel on the inner one. Yeah. So this needs steel and batteries. And this needs steel. And this needs steel. So split steel there. And we'll take battery input like here maybe. Steel batteries, green circuits, iron steel. And then no wait. See here. Oh yeah, there that is steel. And then this is plastic. So yeah, this is gonna be need a lot of belts. And this is plastic. I should set some some of these guys to make it easier to keep track of whatever what is what. Uh, so we'll need iron and we'll need copper. I need plastic, green circuits, and batteries. I think yeah, that's I don't know um, steel as well. I think those are all the materials. Also a pipe of lubricant, I guess. Which means I probably shouldn't have removed that from here, because I'm probably going to build that somewhere closer to this than to this. So yeah, let's put the lubricant factory back in here. Like that. Yep, 
easy as that. And, uh... Right, uh, these... I think these are all I need. Let's see. So, out here... Copper and steel. And plastic. And then here... Plastic. Copper. Steel. Batteries. Green circuits. Iron. Steel. And then finally... Oh wait, I can't do it on this side. Because I don't have the space. Yeah. So what if I just move this whole thing out? Like that. This still reaches. And then these will have to be like that instead. pipes like this. Yeah, that works. Okay, this should be all I need. Put that into the library. Uh, let's try to find a space for it. So this is going to need a whole lot of stuff. Uh, most of all steel, copper and plastic. So I guess somewhere around here probably makes sense so that I can keep it both close to the uh, oil refinery and also somewhat close to the iron that's going to come in here and the copper and everything. So maybe like there. It's going to make it a very long belt to bring it up to the labs, but that's probably fine. Let's deconstruct some of these power poles. Huh, this one's out of range. squeeze this in here. Like that. Should be okay. And now I even have full coverage over it once this is placed. Right, so that's just gonna get built eventually. And yeah, for these, I am going to want productivity modules. And upgrade. And copy. And replace. Maybe I also want it for the low density structures. Because those are going to consume lots of copper. Uh, oh yeah, speaking of which, I'm going to need faster belts for this, I suppose. Uh, d did I research blue belts? I did not. Hmm, I can just upgrade these to red. Yeah, I'll do that right away. Um, did I have... Oh yeah, there. 
there it is. So all of this is gonna be have to be faster. And this is yeah, just three of these per cycle, right? Yeah, just three per cycle, so one yellow bit is enough for that. But these inputs need to be upgraded. So how many batteries am I going to need per second here? So 20 of those consume 2 batteries per second. Uh, so I need 10 battery camp plants. In that case... Oh, what house is doing? forward. We're going to need a bit more coverage down here. Guess I'll probably repurpose this box as a roboport box. Wait, I actually want to claim this, so I should just move this whole thing forward, I suppose. Yeah, I'm hitting the ceiling now. Yeah, I guess these are going to consume a bunch of power. But they also shouldn't get... Yeah, they won't get hooked up to the power grid just yet, so... That's good. How are the labs doing? Okay, those are upgraded. How many more of those do I have? Uh, no, load three modules. Okay. <laughs> so they've made exactly enough so far. Apparently. Oh, now we're low on green circuits. Okay. Time to upgrade these, I guess. And yeah, okay. These are low on plastic, yeah. Do we have red circuits up here? No, yeah, that's also low on plastic. Yeah, at least I don't have idle machines, really. Um, I don't need to upgrade this because there's not enough resources anyway. Uh, what else was I doing? Down here, right? Yeah. Squeeze the robot in there, at least. Yeah, and that'll cover enough to get this base cleaned out. So these will get constructed as soon as the Zoroboport lands. Meanwhile, let's also expand this way. Ah, let's go all the way. And this corner piece is going to need to come down. But with that done, we can finally take this whole thing down and start mining this iron patch. So maybe I should prepare some belts for that. Uh, right, but I don't... yeah. I think I said that last time too, but I don't want to occupy the robots with that just yet. Hmm, at least I have plenty of belts. I also have quite a lot of purple signs now. I 
Actually, why am I here researching that? I should just research blue belts, I suppose. Do I need blue belts? Maybe I don't. Yeah, let's continue with the one I have. It's fine. Now the question is, where are the boxes? Here are they okay? So no robots there. I guess those are getting brought down from here. Then, yeah, those are all the robots in the network. Spike quite high when I do big robot overs. I could also get this uranium and start doing uh, nuclear power instead of mining all this coal. Also an option, I guess, but then I need to research nuclear power. Which is not that far out. I think the bigger issue would be to actually make the reactors and everything, because that's quite heavy on concrete and red circuits. Okay, these are done. Nice. This is not in the network, so that's not working. Oh. Probably shouldn't put the modules in here just yet, I guess. Let's replace those with level 1 efficiency modules for now. Yeah, let's just replace all of them. I still want to keep modules in these so, so that I can uh, replace them remotely. But I don't want those productivity modules to be used up right now. It's better to put them in the labs, for example. That's going to free one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, at least five labs worth of modules. So these are going to get fully upgraded. In. Do we have any beacons yet? No. Get a little on red circuits here. Oh, these flames are also going to get wrecked. Because we don't have any pipes yet. Pipes coming? Guess not. Yeah, here are the pipes. <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, that's fine. We'll just get replaced eventually. Okay, so this is fully built. I should guess I should make some uh, battery assemblers. I had some of them here, somewhere, right there. Okay, that's ten, so you can just copy this whole thing. Okay. And I guess that one can go in here, probably. And move this roller port a bit. Put it there. And this needs to face the other way. And I don't really need a buffer for that. So this needs to go all the way out and around. Yep. There, and then we need iron and copper in here. Do we have more copper out here? I don't think we do. No. So I'm gonna need to take some of this down. I don't think there really is any more iron up there, so yeah, maybe I don't run the iron from up there. I'd rather bring that up from below instead. Let's so just get rid of this for now. But to this output belt, we'll need to get all the way back up to the labs. Uh, I guess I can merge it in here already. This one down here. Uh, there's the output belt. Stay. It's a bit of character. And then, uh, yeah, I guess I'll just merge it like this, some, something like this. Pull this up next to this. Oh, 
didn't connect this one. That needs to go there. This way. And then it needs to get to there. Leave a bit of space around that thing. Okay. Out belt already. Okay, and now this is finished. So let's pick all of this up. Wait, oh uh, no, no, I can't reach this anymore. Oh, uh, but I, I guess I can just do that and place this there. And that'll fix it up. So now we can focus on these. Because there was no reason really to do that copy thing there, I suppose. Oh, uh, there it goes. Uh, do we do a fourth? No, I'm not sure. don't think I need to do a fourth. So, yeah, now we can start mining this. Let's get rid of some robots and power poles. Also, this radar will have to move. Okay, it's a clean mining field. Let's just copy this whole thing. Get rid of the power poles and the robot board. And yeah, the rest is looking good. Does that cover the whole thing? Yeah, it does. Okay. So let's get it covered all the way up this way. Something like that. Oh, and this even works. Cool. Pipe doesn't need to be there though. Okay. Ok, 
Okay. I guess I should just immediately build smelters for this as well. So I probably need maybe one iron. Maybe. Let's put that like here. And then I need just a ton of steel. That's what I really need most of on this. So let's do like one, two, three, four of those. It's probably a good start. And uh, then let's see. Uh, yeah, I'll just pull these this way. here. So let's do a robot port right about there. And this needs to go in there. its own purple. It would be powered by the medium purples in there, but that's okay. Uh, I guess I probably don't have enough mines to feed all of these smelters. Maybe. Okay, so let's get rid of this one for now. And see what, <laughs> what this can provide. Is this going to cover everything? No. Let's just do one on the other side as well. It can also have its own power pole. and robots are building. Oh, and I don't have enough electric furnaces. Maybe I can move some of these. Yeah, because those are probably never going to have enough steel again. I guess I should research some more mining productivity, maybe. to recycle. No mineable resources. Hmm. 
Yeah, <laughs> it's running out. Yeah, and I just cleaned that one over there. There was a few missed, apparently. See what's going on here. Still short on quite a lot of smelters. See, so yeah, I think I'll pull these up. Maybe some of the copper ones as well. And maybe I can make use of those by pulling them into this science build instead. Yeah, for example, if I do like uh, this... down this way as well. Yeah, this could need some more modules. Unless I replace those with efficiency modules, maybe. Yeah. Save some power. Oh, now we're at exactly 10,000 robots. Probably this will have stored up a few things as well, maybe? No? Oh, because I didn't set a filter on it.
built most of it. So, let's get some power to this. And yeah, we can get this running. Hmm. Missing a whole lot of modules. We're low on green circuits here because we're low on iron. So yeah, I should fit some of these belts in here, I suppose. Oops. Cleaned up a bit too much. This one's working, okay. are still in order. Oh, and these are done. Anything else? These look like they're done. to me much less power. These are almost all fully modular already. Very good. So then these should spring into action as well. Oh! <laughs> Where did those come from? I guess there were some stray pieces of stone that ended up on the belts. really need to be upgraded to level 3 modules. Can downgrade the machines too, because these are not fully fed anyway. Probably put a output priority on this one. 
that here. Slightly, I guess. It won't be for long after some of these run out. Still, one that has a powerful coming. Alright, so let's run these belts up to this part of the base. Can get rid of these walls, probably. And let's see, it's gonna collide. Yeah. It's here, but that's okay. We can just turn it here, maybe. Yeah, that's fine. And then I need to get it to like here. Let's run it this way. Like this. And yeah, let's run it south of this coal mine. And on the other side, on the other side of this. Speed this up a bit. Okay, these are done. These should also be cleaned up. So, continue building this way. That's not necessary. This probably isn't either. Funny how my basics has expanded almost exclusively in this direction. Like this is the original base right here. Is the original core of the base. And then the expansion is all this way. <laughs> Mostly because I needed this copper 
uh, patch here. Then we just kept going this way, I suppose. Do we have any plastic we can use for this? Uh, okay, this is backed up. So, am I also using up all the crude oil? What's this pipe? It's also not active. Uh, let's see, that's crude oil from down here. Yeah. Looks like I am using up all of that crude oil. Yeah, because these are not full. to regulate this, I guess, is to prioritize the coal going into the plastic instead. Like that. And then I can prioritize this taking coal. Which means this will only use... So this will prioritize coal into plastic. This will use coal as long as there's any left over, which means that if this starts backing up there will be more solid fuel to use for the plastic, and as plastic uses more coal, um, more of it will be pulled away from here, which will increase demand of solid fuel. But yeah, that should give me a slightly wavier consumption of the solid fuel, but a more even production of plastic here, I suppose. Maybe? It's worth a try. So, should I put modules in these? I could put some productivity and speed modules, or something like that. Although, that will throw off the ratios here. So these won't be able to keep up anymore. I can't really expand this in any good way, so... Why bother? But here we can take this belt down this way and feed that into here. Because these 60 machines are going to consume ninety plastic bars per cycle. Uh, so that's three of these belts, actually. Let's pull both of these down this way. And in here... We need to come in there and there. Plastic. And then we need the steel from down here as well. One of them. And these are prioritized, yeah, from right to left. Let's so take this one first. And actually these probably need to be merged. Yeah, because one of these is not going to produce a whole belt of steel anyway. So 
Let's get those over this way and merge them. Needs to go that way. And in there and there. Uh, this could probably be yellow. Oh, this out of range. Let's get that fixed. Just like that. And then finally we need... Oh, this also needs steel. Okay, what are they eating? Oh, robots, yeah. These are a bit unhappy too. And they have plenty of cliff explosives, they just need to get down here. This is also not a range. Okay. That'll fix that. Yeah, now we just need copper for this. And I did bring some belts down here, but this one is facing the wrong way. Yeah, that's gonna that is not going to need a whole belt of copper. Pull these two down this way. One will just go in there. And the other will... Go up here. That should be all I need for this. Assuming I can feed it with, with everything. Oh no, uh, there's also this iron belt. Okay, so I can get that from, from, from down here. I'll pull that parallel to the steel one. Or 
next to it, will there? There, that should be everything I need. Oh, there's a tiny sliver of not coverage here. Will this cover everything? That is gone. Maybe it won't. Oh yeah, it will. Okay. No, there. That should get the yellow signs running eventually. Well, once I remove these and actually hook it up. And also connect it to the power grid. Oh yeah, this also needs iron. So this can continue this way. This also needs petroleum and water down here. And petroleum goes there. Goes there. Can pull some water out from here, I suppose. Should be everything, I think. Red belts. Oops. And not enough plastic to make these guys. Put two of those. It's minus thirty percent speed. Yeah, so what if I put two productivity modules and one speed in each of these? Hmm, I have some of them. It's good. coming? 
not really. Does this have enough iron? Only barely. Well, it does have a full belt of iron. Can I upgrade that belt? I guess I can actually. I can feed some more in from here. Yeah, and this also. Uh, yeah, I can upgrade it all the way in there, it seems. Let's get one for just belts. Upgrade all this. Also put a splitter in here. We can feed any surplus from this over into this instead. These are all working still. Recycle here. Seems like no. What about here? Yes, here are a few. It looks like all. Yeah, here are a few as well. I'd kind of forgotten about these mines. And here. None. <laughs> These are also still working, all of them. Uh, what's this belt? Oh, wait. Um, what's this for? Well, that's iron. Okay, I just didn't connect that one. Do I need those pipes still? Yeah, probably. So let's just pull this down one tile. I should just get rid of this actually. And go away. as well. And let's see then. This one can continue this way. It should also alleviate some of the red belt shortage. Iron's yet again flowing here. Okay, and these are all done. Get some more radar down here. And move one more space forward. Maybe push these forward a bit first. Will those be able to clean everything up here? Not quite, I think. But at least I can continue with some of this. Let's just 
build all of those. And... Uh, oh, whoops. Oh. Oh wait, that cleans, uh, clears everything. Uh, is this what I want? Everything except for the boxes. And put that here. keep these flamethrowers in here because otherwise I cut the connection. guess I could just replace them with pipes though. Yeah. There's still quite a lot of oil in the pipes even if I do cut the connection. Yeah, 4,000 robots building, no big deal. Okay. Okay, the copper is getting close, cool. Plastic is here, steel is not here, iron is not here. Batteries, yeah, those need the iron, so those are also not here yet. Yeah, the uh, red belts are now producing at pretty good rate here. This one doesn't have an inserter. Ha! That's awkward. <laughs> that one's also missing. Wow. That's awkward. Yeah, so this has never been working at full capacity, is what that means. Or has it? Maybe it has. Yeah, because I only need two for every three. Yeah, okay, so maybe no big deal then. But yeah, these have never worked at least.
Maybe I should recycle some Roboports as well. I think I'm getting kinda low on those. So I can pull at least these. Let's do these first. No wait, this one needs to stay. I can do that instead. This also needs to take down boxes. I think I really need to keep all of this either. So that can all be recycled, except no, not quite actually. Because there are a few radars in here too. All the best are at least on the way. Maybe not placed, but at least on the way. Okay. It's a military. Okay, those are there. All the science is being consumed. <laughs> oh, this is alright. So, let's place two productivity and one speed in there. And then upgrade all of it to level threes. And then place those here. And then do the same with these guys. And same for this one. Should I do the same here too, maybe? I might actually have enough modules to do that. Okay, not now with only one speed module 3, okay. I'm missing a few speed modules. Because, yeah, I'm still missing green circuits because I'm missing iron. Somehow I'm consuming all of this up here. Not sure it 
going into belts. Some of it going into science. Some of it into robots. And yeah, some into these red circuits as well. modules in here already. Don't think I really need more of the level twos. This can also be ten. This probably isn't needed anymore. this is ever going to be fully built. You only really need one of these flamethrowers to come up and start firing to clear out most of this. your flamethrower turrets. Not in danger of running out of them anytime soon. I 
Okay, maybe it's time to brute force move some uh, pipes and stuff down there. Missing repair packs. Huh. I guess this isn't keeping up anymore. looking here. Steel is here. Iron is not here. Oh, that's why iron is not here. This is only half belt, so that's only 15 per second. So that's only going to feed like the first 10 of these. <laughs> it's actually a bit less, I guess, because these are only crafting speed seven, uh, 0 0.75. Which means I only need... yeah. quite all the three belts of copper. I'm still quite close. I probably need to upgrade this to blue belt. Here are a few pipes. Maybe this will get it going. Okay, that one's going. Okay, these two being up oh, should make it easier to get these running. Yeah, there we go. Just brute force and waiting for long enough until it works. That one is also in range. Perfect. So now we can pick this back up. That'll clear this out as well. If it lives long enough, which it looks like it will. this. And push forward. Okay. 
Let's wait with this, those. Let's also wait with these. See if we can get these down first. Maybe we can do something here, though? So maybe it's time to just start this and see how it goes. Oh, I forgot the green circuits. Whoops. So maybe that needs its own factory even, because this is not really gonna do it probably. Although maybe it is. This will consume how much? Three. So half a belt. Okay. So maybe I can take that from here then. Let's see how that goes. So this belt needs to go here. That should finally get this running. Oh, let's see here. Yeah. <laughs> this is not nearly enough to feed this, probably. But on the other hand, this is gonna take like, what is it? 35 something seconds, probably, to craft. So yeah, maybe we can feed quite a few of them, at least. But I think the the main bottleneck here is going to be the copper. Alright, and I wanted to also put productivity modules in these. here as well. At least I have that up here. This is not doing anything. Uh, okay, pipes. Let's put them on the back side, I guess. There we 
there is fine. And this needs to go here. Oh, whoops. I forgot to reconnect these after I moved them. Uh, it's fine. Thinking whether I want to move and clear this. I'll just do this. also fine. Okay, batteries are incoming. Low density structures are being made. Plastic is... yeah, not enough. And we're out of modules on these as well. At least there's a bit of petroleum now. Still not enough to feed all these, it seems. Oh, these have cleared some space. So let's move one more forward. Cycle that one too. are here. Oh, and these are out of lame source. Are they all stored up here now? Maybe? Yeah, it looks like it. I can recycle this now. And also this. Let's do another half as well. So all the way up here. Should probably move those forward now. To like here. So yeah, maybe right around here, I guess.
case that's more coal if I need it. I'm going to do a similar thing here and start collecting the circuits I need to make the silo. Just 200 circuits. Okay, this has a good amount of iron now. These are backing up on green circuits, so yeah, we have a few more of them up here now. Okay, this is filled up, very good. Okay, so now it's yet again the blue circuits that are not enough. Cool. Do I have the modules here? Yeah, I do, okay. So I can enable these. Wait, shouldn't this be more than one thing? Oh yeah, right, it should also be blue circuits. Speaking of things I have not enough of. Alright, so I guess it's gonna be this belt then. That'll be going all the way down here. merge in here somehow. See where we go from here. I think I'll go through here somehow. Yeah, I can do that fairly easily. So this can continue this way. Do something here though. Like that. Through the pillbox, because why not? That 
should do it. But yeah, I need a lot of more stuff. Okay, we have a good flow of green circuits now. Maybe we can get some more iron somehow. This is not all getting consumed. See, I can afford one more iron smelter here, it seems. I guess I just continue these that way. Something like that. We settings gets quite resource intensive towards the end mostly because everything needs uh, gears and green circuits and those are about yeah these are exactly twice as expensive as usual and these are a little more than twice as expensive as usual and these even further increase the copper consumption and so on not sure what these are like in basic settings. If it's like ten to two, or if it's if these this might be the same actually. But yeah, these two really increase the price of everything. Hello, Lauren. Any major progress? Well, I don't know how long ago you uh, how long ago you watched, but yeah. So this is the current state of the factory. Um, if it's been a while, then yes, probably quite a lot of progress since you last popped in. Uh, so this iron ore outpost that I spent so much effort taking is now almost consumed. A couple of weeks maybe? Yeah. Yeah, then uh, I was probably like... had only built out this at that, sp at that point. <laughs> Something like that. So yeah, there's iron outpost, there's oil, there's coal. And I'm making modules and blue circuits and everything. And I'm just starting up this yellow science build down here. And uh, yeah, and this is going on. This is why it's beeping all the time. Because I am uh, flame turret creeping across the landscape. Oh, this is almost cleared out. This nest now. So this survey this save has survived a really long time. Well, yeah, it's about 40 minutes or 40 hours. 40 minutes. Uh, okay, 50 hours now. Um, but yeah, I think somewhere around the 20th or 30 hour mark, yeah, somewhere around the 20 hour mark, I think, is when I finally got the robots up and got the robots to critical mass so that I can just stop moving at all and just do everything remotely like this. Including expanding the borders, like you can see here. Uh, so yeah, if you take a look at my tech tree, it's a bit unusual. Like, for example, I don't even have logistic robotics at all. <laughs> uh, I could have used these buffer chests to make uh, the flame creep uh, a lot more efficient. But I'm also going for the... I'm going for the achievement where you never build any, any of these chests, so I won't do that. You can also see I don't have any power armor, I haven't have even made any modular armor, I think. And stuff like that. I have barely even researched trains, actually. I don't have cars and all that stuff. <laughs> so yeah, it's a bit of un uh, an unusual playthrough this time. But... Uh, we are very close now to being able to launch the rocket. I just need to get a bit of science for the rocket control units, then research and make the rocket, 
And then for an added bit of extra flair, I'm also going to put a satellite in the first rocket. So I am going to uh, also research space science, which is going to double the, the amount of yellow science I need. But that's okay. Oh, I guess I need to research this for that time to make. But yeah, uh, I'm getting kind of close to finishing this uh, playthrough. But it's going to be a while longer because, yeah, I'm short on blue circuits right now. And, uh, yeah, I need more iron for that, basically. Because it's not fully fed. Even though it has productivity 3 modules, it's not fully fed. I guess I could upgrade these. Oh yeah, since I upgraded these, I guess I should just make put more productivity modules in these. I suppose. Uh, am I trying to build... Okay, so I can actually do this. I can disable this side of it. Uh, actually, that's not even needed. I can just de deconstruct these. And then, okay, wait for that to be built, which is going to take a while. Uh, yeah, because I need one of those placed before I can actually place the modules into it. And these should get the same treatment. I should definitely put uh, four productivity modules in these as well. Means I should probably just halve it and just move the modules up to there. How's this going? Slowly... Oh! Did I just deconstruct... Oh yeah, I deconstructed these. <laughs> Can get rid of these as well. Free those machines to be used for other things. Like this one. And upgrade those modules, copy the machine, and replace these with fully module assemblers. And then do the same thing with the blue. Should do the same here as well. Just get rid of all that. No, get rid. And the yellow science. Full of modules. just a two for now because I don't think I really have enough modules for it or the machines so where are those am I really that low on assembler threes At least these are working full speed, which means, yeah, this is now working as well, although that doesn't have any green circuits. Ah, I guess I should upgrade here too then. Oh, but this doesn't have any iron. Okay, so I need more iron input here, I guess. But well, this is not being fully consumed. I 
Oh, because this is not upgraded. Wow. Okay. I guess I can also get rid of all of these personal transport belts. I have hardly moved for like 10 hours now, so I don't really think I would need these. And that'll mean I can recycle these into red belts. I have been kind of short on for a while. So yeah, let's just tear all of it down. And this ammo belt really isn't needed anymore either. Yeah, let's just tear it all down. These are within range. Oh, yeah, because they can get in there, of course. Let's fix that. And clean all this up. Yeah, this is fully within the borders now, so... This doesn't really need any of these defense anymore. space in between. I'll keep some of these right around the core of the base because that is that is where I am actually moving around still. thinking about why I needed to get up here so why I had this pelter because I remember I, I went in here and was a bit worried because there were like biters all, all over the place and I was worried about yeah being very careful not to get killed when I was up here and also making sure not to get killed by my own flamethrowers uh, but yeah the reason I needed to go back up here was because I needed to place modules in these which I could not do remotely because I can't place these on the ground remotely. But okay, uh, so let's finish these. I like that the wreck is still there. Let's 
that's nice. So there, there, and there. And these belts can stay, but I don't need this one. And that doesn't need to be upgraded either. Uh, this can go away. This should be a provider chest, even if it doesn't really matter anymore. Just on principle. And yeah, that is actually used. Any other remaining? This one. hope I don't get breached and and it turns out I need this again. Okay, and here I am. Let's get rid of these as well. this belt for. Okay, that's the outfit belt. Alright, so that is that is connected and everything. So that just needs some blue circuits input. That should have received at least one, I would think. Oh, here they come. Way. And this can actually feed more than these. Although... Do I have beacons now? Yeah, I have beacons! That means I can get more use out of these speed modules, or... Uh, productivity modules, if I place beacons instead of more machines. So, yeah. Please place a beacon here. So I guess I can squeeze them in like this, probably, maybe? Maybe. Definitely maybe. I'll need to move the inserters around a bit and move the pipe a bit. But I can do both of those things. Yeah, if I move the pipe to the outside, that should work. Like, if I do put it here, can I put it there? Yeah, I can put it here at least, I think. And not quite, or I can spaghetti it through like this. Or do I just replace the beacons inside here instead. Yeah, then I can even actually f target four machines with one beacon. Yeah, that's way easier. Just do that instead. So then it'll be... like this. Yeah, and... 
okay, I fit two beacons in there. Cool. So, uh, speed modules and upgrade those modules. And there we go. make this a bit more compact, because I can. to be under control, yeah? I mean, these things are beeping all the time, but yeah, everything is under control. And I've said a few times now, since like somewhere around the 30 hour mark, I think, that it was starting to look like it's going to be very difficult to lose from here. And yeah, at this point, certainly, it's looking quite difficult to lose. Because I'm even seeing a behemoth enemies appearing now like this and yeah the flamethrowers deal with it like no problem at all so yeah i'm feeling pretty safe let's just expand these like that pick that up continue this down and let's fix this here that. There. Recycle this. Actually, are these? These don't have oil. Actually, uh, that is a bit of a problem. But yeah, these should handle that. Okay, so let's patch that up before it becomes a problem. do it. So, I was designing here. Okay, these need speed modules. Okay, I, I don't have those. Uh, why, though? Because these don't have blue circuits, okay? Let's get those back in circulation. as well. Disable there. No wait, I don't need that. Um, okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, I can probably just recycle these modules as well because I'm not really using them. So let's downgrade all of these. Like that. And that'll recycle all of these modules into here to be reprocessed, in reprocessed into level 3 speed modules. Okay, and here, let's see, this is no longer needed. Let's get rid of all of this stuff. And all of that, and now I can re... Uh, replicate this that way. Service there too. Uh, okay, so this needs to move in there. do this much more efficiently if I if I spent the time to actually manage where things are stored in uh, in logistics chests but it's easier to just not bother and just let it handle itself with time just given enough time these will just eventually work it out here again. If I want to do it like this, it doesn't quite work. Uh, but I can do it like that, and that's fine. It still lets these two be uh, to affect uh, four machines. I can replicate that this way. Okay, perfect gives better use of all these modules. Can I squeeze even more beacons in here maybe? Uh, let's see, there's... yeah okay that's the furthest out these can go. But I can squeeze some more in here but they'll, they'll only affect two machines at a time. And I could do that. I guess at this point maybe I should just do a 12 beacon layout. Probably makes, makes way more sense actually. Yeah, let's just do a 12 beacon layout. Stop trying to shoehorn this one into working better than it's designed for. So like that. Twelve beacons on one machine. And then we need the belts. So now this one is going to work at what? Each of these is 50% bonus. So this is going to work at about six times speed. Bringing it down to about two seconds crafting time, which means I probably need stack inserters for the green circuits. Which means I need to make stack inserters. Which means I need red circuits. And I don't really have a good place to put them either. Ah. Yeah, those need red circuits. And those are there. I guess if I... Pull these all the way out of here, like 
switch these around so I can put stack inserters here. Then I can grab those directly from this belt. Oh, that is full. Wow. Okay. Um, don't want to do that. Maybe. Can I move this miner under somewhere instead? <laughs> one burner, yeah. <laughs> That's the one burner I've used since the beginning of the game. Or for the beginning of the game, rather. Uh, so can I move this assembler to somewhere reasonable? Can I get rid of this? Yeah, and if I can get rid of this, I can just put it in here. I don't think I need this robot anymore, really. I can move that to, like, here, maybe. Okay, and then I can close this. Because the main reason I had this gap in here was so that I, so that I could move, move myself through there. Okay, so then I can move this over here. I can see here. Um, so I still need these to make those. Maybe I can move the turrets out as well. Yeah, because I'm not really using these turrets anymore either, really. Okay, so we can move that one, but that one needs to be on this side. So this one actually needs to move up here. And this one can move here. And this can go away. Let's see, if I just flip this whole thing around... Then I get two more spaces here. And I just need to bend this slightly. And then these two can make stack and filter stack inserters. Like that. And then this one needs that as input, this one needs fast inserters as input, so it's not quite far enough, but it's okay. Let's just put some there. And then this needs green and red circuits. And gears, but we have those there. Okay, so that's done. And then we need to configure these two inserters. Build as long as there are less than, say, 100 stack inserters and less than 50 stack filter inserters. that one instead. Okay, and that should get these going. Yeah, already have all the things. Uh, but this is not making any outputs. Oh yeah, right. I should probably move some of these around then.
Oh yeah, right, and I should make this like that. Oh wait, that doesn't work. That's nice to be there. And then like that. And then... Filter for these guys. And... Insert only if there are less than 50 of those. There. Okay, those are being made. Cool. And we need a new power pool here, it seems. We can even do it like this. I think yeah, that was a good filter. So I can move these around. So I'll cut this one, cut this one, place it there, and place that one there. That way I can recycle the fastness orders into both of these kinds. I guess this one can also be like that. And this needs to be fast instead, and that needs to be fast instead. And there. Okay, so now I can continue here. And I need... One belt of green circuits, one belt of red circuits, and like I said, probably a... oh, whoops. Yeah, I rebound these, okay. <laughs> That's good, <laughs> but I didn't have the resources. Uh, okay, so instead, put it here. Like that. And then this still is only going to produce one per second or so. So I can probably do it just like this. Pipe will come in from there instead. one in from the same direction. one instead. Yeah, just turn all this down. It's fine.
Oh wait, that doesn't work. Well, it works, but I don't like it. So that one needs to be green circuits. Probably more than that belt, actually. Uh, but anyway... Oh, that is already red. Okay. Let's make it red then. And uh, this is the red one. here for now. And we'll see what happens. some more beacons here as well. Get some more use out of these modules. I have quite a few of them now though. That's quite a lot of blue mod or blue circuits. Question if it's if I want to use modules here as well or beacons here as well. Probably actually. I'll just alternate them here and it's fine. This gives me a bit more use out of the modules. So then I should have a beacon first. So I had 34 of those modules, and this is like 16, so I can enable all of that. And start making yellow signs. have made progress. <laughs> that pipe is not connected. up. We'll need some more stuff here, it seems, maybe. No, I just need this to be built. Okay, but these are done. And it's one more worm. Yeah, let's clear that out as well. That'll do it. out as well. And I guess these two. Oh, that's a behemoth worm. 
70% fire resistance. That, unfortunately for the worm, is not really going to matter when it's a flamethrower turret we're talking about. Oh, wow, we're out of pipes. Okay. That's unexpected. Uh, this won't help the pipe shortage, but anyway. So let's see here then. This is not working because there's no iron. And there's no iron because it's being consumed by everything else. Like these engines. So I guess I should just upgrade this belt then. appear to be recycled if needed. Yeah, and well those use uh, fast stack inserters and not the filter inserters, so we, I don't need to move those. Okay, there it is. <laughs> Except that decided to go recharge. And those two. <laughs> There we go. That should help up quite a bit here. Wondering if I should upgrade these modules. Some to spare. I yeah, can do that. And also turn those into this kind instead. With four modules. Maybe beacon these even? Productivity modules now than I have speed modules. Whoops, uh, what's the condition on this? 50. Yeah, that can probably be like 20. instead to make sure it can output. But yeah, I need more pipes. Okay, those are being produced here now. Slowly. Yeah, 
Yeah, I guess all these new inserters kind of bumped demand for iron and gears here. circuits in the network. That's not good. Where are those? Are they somewhere like here? Yeah, here they are. That's not getting priority to be consumed. So let's move those somewhere else, like here maybe. Yeah, let's move them here. But I also can't really put a beacon there because I don't really have enough beacons either. Okay, at least these are working now. And yeah, I could feed many more of these now. Or all. I guess I need to actually finish making all those uh, modules first. Let's disable these for a while. Those back in circulation. up here actually so that these don't eat all of the circuits when there are enough uh, modules there let's do the same thing here So these are done now. I suppose uh, getting a few pipes made the difference there. Probably.
Still haven't really discovered any more iron, except for this one. <laughs> oh, and these are not really being... Cause oh yeah, I put up this one, but I never started using it. <laughs> Can I use it for something though? These are full. Yeah, I don't think I really have an iron shortage anymore actually. Now I just have a module shortage. So I guess let's not run those over to science for now. By the way, no, no project finished. Because these are missing a lot. Because these are missing... Ah! green circuits. Why is this short on stuff? Speed module. Oh, because this has no green circuits, okay. Which is, again, because of all these inserters. I suppose. Yeah, these are really swallowing most of it. Swallowing most of it. Can I squeeze a beacon in there? Yeah, I think I can. If necessary. Well, yeah, I have plenty of green circuits down here, so maybe I should just pipe some of those up here. Or take some of these. Yeah. Can do both. So then this needs to go like this, perhaps, and go on just one side. And then f for religious reasons I need this one to... No wait, this needs to go on the other side. Uh, so that means it goes... Like that instead. So then I can move that one here. 
so that I don't need to do the ugly thing and have the inserter pull or put into one of these hoods. And then I can put that there. This is working. Let's try to get that upgraded. This is working again. It should also be upgraded. Oh, and here I can also put a recycling chest, but do I really need to though? I don't think I really need to. I should maybe just remove these because I probably don't won't need to put these uh, modules directly into machines. Basically, this can just make efficiency modules, I guess. So let's recycle all those level one modules. Just keep the efficiency modules here. Okay, I got a few upgrades, or one upgrade at least. times 2, that's 34, so somewhere I'm missing even more speed modules. Where is that? Is it here? Oh yeah, it's here. So that's another 10. Hmm. But okay, at least Yellow Science is now running. I produced a grand total of 32 so far. That is incorrect, though. That module should not be there. How did that end up there? Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, I have inserters here. Removing modules. I need to redo these. Okay, looks like we can run another half of this as well.
turns out I probably did not need stacking swords for this, or maybe? Yeah, maybe I do actually. When it's running at full speed. Finish this up with the corner piece. Clean this up. Recycle all of that. All of this, even. Woo! are also fully upgraded. Not that it really matters now, because these do not have enough steel. Okay, so let's continue this steel belt th that way. Come in slightly sooner. Uh, okay, but we can just continue this way then. Merge in there instead. That this hasn't been upgraded yet. <laughs> I 
Okay, and this is not fully fed with green circuits anymore. Might mean I can upgrade some of this. Yeah, now this copper is also not full anymore either. This one still is. Mostly because this is not fully built out yet. I should probably cancel these actually because I need those modules more up here. These are not moduled either. Uh, but yeah, I think these are too far away. Yeah. This is not really designed for having beacons in. We need a complete redesign in order to fit beacons in here. Now at least these are upgraded. Full on solid fuel. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's not very helpful. That's a yellow belt. This one should also prioritize coal. Although then this needs to be slightly upgraded. Something like that, I think. Yep, something like that. Still not built. <laughs> but it also looks like it's not really needed, so. I guess I can also expand this even if I don't have the speed modules because I do have the productivity modules so I can still get some use of this even if it's not complete and this will have to move Mm -hmm. 
this is no longer needed. So, am I going to need blue belts is the question. I think I just go for these first and get this science done with. Uh, it also doesn't use any purple science, which is the one I'm low on right now. Which is nice. Let's see if I can upgrade this. Not quite. Yeah. There's another speed module. and disable this. Should probably keep running for a bit at least. Alright, so now I don't have enough green circuit input here. Uh, but these are all working. Which means I just need more of this. Should I do a beacon layout of this as well, maybe? How are these looking? Yeah, that's not even being used. That one is doing okay. Are these all working? No, not quite. There is enough rail, looks like. Oh, low power. Whoops. Okay, because this is no coal. How are you doing on coal for the plastic here? Okay, that's fine. Okay, so I guess I just need to mine this and pull that up there. So, let's do that. Oh. Here's... Oh, those are outside of range. But yeah, let's just copy this whole thing. Dump it down here. Looks like it covers everything. Uh, let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, six belts. So, do I have some kind of 8 to 8 bouncer? Not really. Add this horrendous thing. Okay, let's do. It's here. There. Let's do one 4 to 4 balancer and one 4 to 4 balancer.
Where is 6 to 6 easier, maybe? I don't want to pull up uh, a compendium just for this. So that's now 50-50 of those. See, how do you do a 3 to 3 balancer? I have seen some. And they do some kind of loop back the other way. It goes half and half there. Off and off there. That goes there. That, yeah, this is not going to balance really. first one is now mixed into those two and now both the first and the second are mixed into there ah whatever i'll just do this horrible thing instead That's at least something. So, now to get this all the way back up to the power plant. For which we can go through here, it seems. Yep, that works.
there and then we need to merge this in here so we'll just continue this a few more times Six more. That should do it. And now we're going to run out of power. Whoops. Uh, that might actually be a problem. So... Yeah, let's keep at least some of it flowing. Oh, but I still have these as well, I suppose. So it wouldn't, wouldn't be a complete disaster. But still. Let's wait for these get placed. Okay, so I need more green circuit assemblers, it seems. For which I probably need more. Oh yeah, but these are running slow because of the power outage. Oh, oh yeah, and these are also running slow because of the power. Yeah. So I can't really say anything about my factory's performance right now until these are finished up. Looks like power is rising now. Yeah, okay. So it is under control. Oh, that also doesn't really help. way forever. Uh. Well, should have plenty more power once I get those running. Quite a good amount of solid fuel here. Running out quickly though. Okay, these are working full blast here. Thank you. 
think demand is now 500 megawatts. Wow. Which <laughs> is all robot ports. Well, not all of it, but you know, most of it. See how this is going. It's going slowly, but it's going. Maybe I should just set up a nuclear plant. Not have to worry about this anymore. There's one. The rest should be close then. No? Maybe not. Well, at least the defenses are oil powered, so that's not gonna be a problem. Maybe it wasn't the brightest idea to put the belt factory on the other side of everything compared to where the belts would actually be used. Yeah, this only really takes yeah iron and circuit, so maybe I should just move or duplicate this factory down here. So there's green circuits. There's the red circuits here. So yeah, I guess I could also place a belt factory here, that probably would make a lot of sense. for that. No. Okay, so I'll not upgrade those. How's this going? Uh, well, we're not blacking out at least. At least for now. That might actually change. Yeah, this 
this is also kind of... Yeah, I wonder if I'll recover from this, actually. This one is working fully. So as long as I have that, um, I'm at least not completely dead. I guess I can just disconnect some st strategi strategically chosen things. And also, once the robots settle down a bit, um, the roboports will, yeah, consume much less power. Which will also help the rest of the factory recover. But yeah, we really, really need these melts to come back down here. Although I guess the surplus coal just gets fed into the other lanes, I suppose, so... Yeah, still would be nice to get this... Uh, this coal buffer on the belt here into the power plants. Come on. Yeah, this buffer on the belt here will last for a while longer at least. Come on, finish this. Are struggling to grab the coal now. <laughs> yeah, at least these are able to still. Uh, where are these? They are not out of materials. So they're just really slow. Still a hundred... a thousand and a half robots in the air. Here they come, maybe? Yeah, there it is. Then we need that one too. Is that one on the way? No. <laughs> I 
There it is, okay. Okay, we can finally get this running. And then soon this will finish as well and bring all this core buffer up. There we go. That should give us a little kick at least. Oh well. <laughs> Spike. Yeah, big spike. like we're somewhat recovering but it's gonna be a while before the coal belts actually fill up again it's gonna be a bit wavy until then Everything just spiked. <laughs> okay. Now it's coming down again because the buffer is all eaten up. But at least a new burst is coming here. And this is about to finish up. Uh, and this pipe is going to mess it up. And this pipe too. So there it is. Now that's finished. So this here, once it gets to the power plant, will give us uh, another big kick. And maybe this can be enough to get everything back in order. Looks like it's able to stabilize at least. Maybe even rise a bit. Now that I have these uh, belts in order, I can start getting 
putting these back in. Probably don't need that one actually. Because now uh, all this would just go this way instead. And it'll still be consumed. Yeah. Looks like we are stabilizing and recovering. Yeah, that was a bit worrying for a while, but looks like we're gonna be fine in the end. But yeah, that is a good reason to actually get nuclear power so that I don't need to worry about these kinds of things, because... Yeah, one nuclear plant will easily generate like 400 megawatts without a problem. I think one 4x4 is 4 times 1.6, which is, what, 3... 3.2... Yeah, 640 megawatts easily. So that would be nice. But I feel like I probably can just make it on this for the rest of the game. Probably. Even, even if these aren't able to feed, um, feed all the spikes, they're at least able to. Uh, they're able to cope with most of the demand, at least. Most of the steady state demand. are producing again. Yeah, because I built a new mine, of course. Oh, wow. Uh, this is bad. This is quite bad. Quite very bad. Uh, okay. Uh, panic mode engaged. Why did that happen? Was it because there were no robots up here? Yeah, these are not out of oil, so that's not a problem. Okay, so let's engage panic mode here. And do like that. And place some more flamethrowers this way. the biters aren't seeming interested in actually moving into the base. Because if they did, there's nothing really standing between them and me. stuff. Maybe this whole project actually engaged like... Yeah. So that's 4,000 belts. Yeah, some 5,000 something belts. Yeah, that could actually have engaged most of the robot swarm. At least if some of them were already occupied with other things. Okay, this should keep us safe, at least. Except for this here.
Okay, danger seems to be averted. Yeah, as soon as this gets placed, this is gonna die. Almost had me there, Behemoth Spider. walls like that. Okay. Oof. Okay, let's hope they don't attack there again until this gets fixed. Hmm. That was a bit of a scare. So yeah, I'm glad I actually had this gun there still. I accidentally blow up some of these cliffs with these panic mode walls. <coughs> or did they just break through the wall, maybe? These are still going. Pipes. <laughs> it's fine. So how's this looking now? Oh, okay, this coal has finally made it all the way up. So let's see, these are able to pull one, two, three, four belts. Yeah, that looks like it should be able to pull all of this in there. Maybe. Probably. do I have now? 76? Okay. Should get some more here. Okay, this is patched up and we have turrets back down. Okay. I'm not going to re... Uh, restock these with ammo. It looks like, yeah, this one was the hero that actually cleaned up the attack here. Yeah, it actually does 8 damage per shot to the behemoths. Which I guess can finish them off if they're already damaged, maybe? I'll keep that there, just in case. So this whole incident got me a bit spooked. Gonna 
beef up some of these walls. Okay, so this pulls one, two, three, four. Five, six. Okay, now we're back in the green. And I'm not going to cut all these at the same time again. Not in the near future at least. So how is this going? Okay, slowly making speed modules. Oh, and also science, no? I guess. Yeah, sure. <laughs> All produced eighty four. So maybe I should branch some of this off to make rocket stuff. Gonna require one thousand low density structures. So yeah, I'll branch some of that off, uh, or maybe even do this one. How much is that producing? I have. Yeah, that's producing like three per cycle, yeah. So... Let's place one more of these down here. Uh, let's see. Is it going to be there if it's going to line up with the beacons? And then... Yeah, let's get rid of this. That's going to be... a bunch of assemblers already. So... Uh, filter inserter, or filter splitter rather. Filtering out low density structures on the right. was 1000 right yeah 10 times 100 and a bit less because I will have productivity modules but still so yeah let's just start boxing these up for now I guess can use one of these actually well, and then I guess I don't actually need the filter splitter either. Can just use a filter inserter instead. Doing uh, these. As long as there's less than 1000 in the network.
So how much junk do I have in the network now? I have a few steel plates. Some copper plate and cable. Some engines, but well, that is by design. Some processing units and engines that I'm going to use. Yeah, it looks like no other junk actually. So what about that steel? Okay, that's here, so that is also by design. Ah, and this doesn't get any coal anymore. Because that's all getting eaten by the power plant. are all connected <laughs> unlike before so is this working yet? Oh, just started so now we'll see if this is enough copper and uh, steel and stuff well, steel shouldn't be much of an issue, because it doesn't consume all that much steel, but lots of copper and plastic. Yeah, it's consuming all of it. But yeah, again, these will back up eventually. And then that this should make it a bit further at least. Maybe not much further, but at least a bit. already halfway there almost guess I'm gonna need some more for the for the satellite as well yeah just a hundred more so no big deal I will need a hundred more circuits though or blue yeah blue circuits These really aren't very useful anymore. So let's see here. A lot of that iron is being consumed. Not all of this steel. Am I low on iron here? No, I'm completely full on iron in, iron in fact and <laughs> yeah that's not gonna be it's not gonna be very useful whoops I can take that from here instead.
these are working fully now, so I should just make some more green circuit assemblers. That seems to be... Bottleneck? Yep. <sighs> Do I want to try... I have done 12 beacon layouts of this before. It works kind of okay. I need some assemblers full of productivity modules. I guess I can copy most of the layout from here. It's gonna be this instead. And let's see. I'm gonna need four of the wire assemblers. Yeah, this is gonna consume a lot of speed modules. Okay. Let's get rid of all these belts. So for this, I don't think I'm really going to be using belts all that much internally, at least. Because it's going to be such a high volume of cables. But belts, I think, aren't really going to be able to keep up. And I have tried this kind of thing before, and I have had pretty good results with uh, stack inserters into chests, like this. So just this kind of thing. Of course, I need probably even, yeah, maybe even a blue belt of copper and just place three inserters for now. Probably don't need all of that, but still, just in case I do. to produce a lot of output. Let's put it this way. Yeah, and I'm, <coughs> I'm not even sure this is enough to handle all that, all that output. But okay, let's see gonna need poles for all these beacons as well. Yeah, let's just do that. Okay, let's see if we can squeeze this in somewhere, I guess. Although I don't have copper down here. I have copper up here. Can I put it in here, maybe? Almost. can squeeze it in like that, it seems. 
just barely. Oh, well, that's the wrong direction. Wait, is it? Okay, these are both copper. That's copper. That's copper. Oh wait, but I need iron in as well. Uh, so iron input, I guess, will be in this way. these four are able to keep up with the uh, copper wires then these are going to be able to keep up with the iron plates and I have seen this be able to keep up with the copper wires like this so I think that's fine maybe I need to limit the stack size so let's see if this fits in here This will be output. So where do I bring that then? Maybe in here and upgrade these belts from here. Maybe even all the way back here. And upgrade belts. This way.
Let's see how this goes. Hmm. Yep, need more productivity modules. And a lot more speed modules, of course, yeah. But that is what this is intended to help alleviate, so yeah. Maybe I should pause the science for a bit again. Just get more of these blue circuits into modules. It's now being fully consumed. Is that because of this? No, because I haven't even read it in there. Ah, but this is able to consume lots and lots of it. This should prioritize to the left to make better use of the better factory. And same thing. Oh, wait, that's input priority. Output priority left. There, and same thing there. I don't think this will consume a whole belt of iron, even at full speed modules. Yeah, that's not bad for one assembler. Although, yeah, that's not actually affected by any speed modules at all. <laughs> Here's another speed module. This is not able to feed enough green circuits. So maybe I just need more of those then? So what if I change this up a bit? Oh, I guess... Yeah, I guess I'll redesign this one so these two can keep working, because otherwise I'm gonna cut pipes. Let's get rid of this, and this, and replace that with one of those. And remove that. And let's put two of those here. I said they can continue working, but yeah, not so much re really, it seems. So we'll do that instead, see how that works. Oh, no, I also need a pipe there. I guess actually at this point, 
it's actually more efficient to just make more machines, isn't it? Because now I'm using all of these speed modules just to save these pro productivity modules. Although... Yeah, I guess it would be needing many more of these modules if I wanted to do, to do this kind of thing uh, replicated. Because I would need to also rep replicate these four. Yeah, so this, I guess, is kind of okay, actually. Yeah, because each pair of these is like one more of these. And that's 44 beacons, so that would be like 22 more of these. No. Six more of these, but yeah, these as well. I think it probably evens out. Are these beacons needed, really? Not really, I don't think. So let's make better use of those modules up in the blue signs, or blue circuits. Or in the green circuits. Okay, now this is working full speed. Reliably. Okay. So let's use this design for all of them then. And I actually might not even need all these beacons here right now. If I can't even feed this with the uh, green circuits. Let's just tear it all down, actually. feed this anyway. Oh, whoops. It's gonna run out of all sulfuric acid. No! Okay, this one can keep working for a bit longer, maybe? Almost? Yeah. Okay, there it is. Consuming all the copper right now. 
Yes, I am consuming all the copper. Am I consuming all the iron? No. So what could I use the iron for then? I could not use more iron here. I could use more iron here. So let's pull this one up here as well then. Instead, see, so we'll do. Yeah, how do I do this? Something like that should be okay. This is going well. Oh. Wait, sixty nine buildings? No, sixty nine modules. For these 40 buildings, yeah, okay. And a few of them here, yeah, checks out. Still consuming all the copper. Don't have enough plastic. Yeah, because not enough petroleum. Mm 
is this set to? 4,000, okay. Okay, so that's probably gonna back up in it eventually. Oh, this is only half a lane of coal now. Ah, because, yeah, these are grabbing preferentially from the closest lane. If I should lane balance this, but uh, probably not necessary. <laughs> exactly 10,000 robots. With 500 in reserve and 1,000 robot frames in reserve. Alright. So do I still just need more green circuits, I guess? No, now I am full on green circuits. Now I need more red circuits. Okay. So time to re store, replace those beacons again, I guess. Okay, cancel all the ones that I haven't placed here yet. some of them in here probably those two first since the, those are prioritized on the plastic This looks quite silly without all the beacons. This needs some health there as well. Oh, and this is running out of iron ore. What are we using it for up here? Repair packs. Assemblers, yeah, okay. Do I need 200 of these though? Probably only need like 100 tops. What else are we using iron for here? 
Blue science. A bit. Red and green science a bit. But yeah, mostly red circuits apart from that. Okay, at least the modules are coming through now. Soon I might even be able to upgrade this with some speed modules itself. Yeah, I should probably do that right now, actually. And upgrade, and copy. And replace. Wait, no. Let's keep that working until it's finished, this one. <laughs> actually. Did it? Yeah, I think it just did that. So, upgrade it. Okay, this is fully upgraded. It's good. And that is swallowing all the green modules or green chips. That are not swallowed by this. Okay, so now we're back to green circuits being the bottleneck. So this is waiting for one, one, okay. use this. So if I do that... Then I can use this to downgrade these modules to level 2 modules, which I already have here. And then I can use this one again to re-upgrade them to level 3 modules. There. That runs much faster. And there it goes. Now it's only this one waiting for level 3 modules there and sending this one to be recycled yeah now we're just waiting for blue circuits here and blue circuits need more green circuits which need more beacons I think I set this down to 10, yeah. <laughs> Don't really need to uh, turn on both of these sides right now, actually. Should we get all these blue circuits back into circulation, because they're not really being useful here. Let's 
Same with all of those. Blue circuits. And there it goes. Now this should be fully upgraded. So yeah, it's still the green circuits, it's the bottleneck. Okay, now we're seeing a pretty good flow of blue circuits here. That's very good. Oh. oh yeah, it looks like I was a bit too eager to upgrade the greens. Place a beacon here to speed up a few of these up. Although this is currently blocked by this, so it doesn't really help all that much, I guess. Now there's some good throughput. are low on batteries, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, because this is out of petroleum. Did I cut the pipe somehow? Oh, okay, it's just being all used for plastic. Okay. So these are not getting any anymore. <laughs> yeah, module production is really picking up now. Are you able to start feeding a few of these with green circuits? Item ingredient shortage. That looks to be the wires. So we need to add a few more beacons to those. This one is not actually full. Okay. Because these are full, which means even if I upgrade these, those are not going to feed any quicker, but this one still can. Oh yeah, that's one at 40% while these are at 200%. Ok, 
Okay, now it's the sort of the bottleneck. Oh, because they don't have enough red circuits. Yeah, because red circuits doesn't have enough plastic. Uh, do I need to make a 12 module layout for these as well? I, I think it can even be like 16 modules for the oil refineries actually, or beacons rather. Uh, do I need to make that? Maybe I need to make that. should just make that. The other option is to just wait anyway, so. So let's get these full of level 3 productivity modules. And these as well. look up the ratios here in my spreadsheet. So with three productivity modules and how many beacons can I fit around this? beacons on oil processing and then 12 beacons each on the others. That makes the ratios 14 of these to 6 of these. To 22 of these. happen to get alone okay and that will give me a grand total of 3583 petroleum gas per second i think so 3000 petroleum gas per second is a lot of plastic, in short. <laughs> uh, so 3,600 divided by 2, that's uh, uh, 1, 800. Uh, so 180 times 2, so about 300. 360 plastic per second. But yeah, I can feed... How many? I think I have that in my spreadsheet as well. Uh, let's see here... Plastic bar... Do we have one with the modules and everything already? Yes, there. So 28 of them... Yeah, 28 of those will consume a little more than all that petroleum. If I put full modules around them, or beacons around them. Eight of those and six of these. <laughs> How do I manage to exactly make half of what I need, need without even really trying? Um, okay, so I need fourteen of those. That is seven, I think. Uh, 
actually how much crude oil this is consumed if I do that. Uh, that would consume 2400 crude oil per second. How much am I making? Fluids, one hour. Okay, I'm not consuming and producing at the same rate, it seems. So that is now, yeah, 200 per second. So I can feed a tenth of that, which is to say one and a half of these guys. <laughs> so I guess I need more oil. And there is one there, so I can quite easily just expand this way and take that. So that's 900%. What are they? How many are these? 14. Okay. I did read a bit about how this percentage works, but I still don't have it quite grokked yet. But anyway, this is then going to about double. Yeah. It's going to about triple. Uh, oil production. Uh, oh, and I can put beacons here, actually. That's probably also worthwhile. Let's try to get as many as possible with each of these. But yeah. Pump jacks aren't always easiest to get a good beacon value out of. I'm gonna try to get at least two with each beacon. So that I'm not wasting the modules too much. There's a good spot. There's also a good spot. There's a good spot if I can move the pipe. Oh, can I not? Oh! Wow! Okay, so these are... Are these the only buildings you can't rotate like that? Because I think every other building can be rotated like that. spot and can we get one more in here? Not really. We can get one in here. Maybe run this pipe around. Something like that. Looks like all the beacons now have power. Now let's do the same thing up here. Uh, except I would need to clean up a whole lot of walls here in that case. that much about it I think. Can get rid of this probably. Yeah. This is too good a spot to not move the flamethrower. And 
this is also pretty good. I need to redo the pipes a bit. Like that, maybe? I suppose. Okay, these are starting to threaten breaking through the walls. So let's just add some more walls. Should have more walls in these two. But on the other hand, these are solid walls of flamethrowers, so probably not really necessary. Uh, okay. And these are no longer connected to power. They will be. I think I'm out of good spots for beacons here, mostly. This one's okay. Oh, this one needs a pipe. Maybe that one has never worked. I don't think I removed this pipe right now. But okay, so right now I could feed about one of these. And this one would produce about twice what I already have, which means I could do about three. So let's do just four, for starters. That means I need two heavy crackers. need to actually squeeze these together. So that I can reuse the same beacons as for uh, those. So I need two of those. And I need seven light crackers. is 1,000 petroleum gas and with that I can feed let's see 1,023 and then, okay so with that I can feed about 8 plastic assemblers
So I guess I'll pull those up here. Two, three, four. Oh. I do want to keep using these beacons as much as I can. So that's one, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's nine. So we can make it like that, I suppose. Maybe even do something like this. Unless that makes the pipes all all too messy. to run the water like this. Which means I need to line these up with these guys probably. Okay, so let's see then. In that case this will go there. And there. Then I can even pull that down to save some space upwards. And then let's see about these. This probably has to go like that, maybe. Yeah. I think so. Or wait, uh, these also need to feed up in there. Rock control unit finished. Okay, let's research the rock side of them. So that can match up there now, and there, and this can go up there, even has to I think. Uh, and what then? So I have those two, so this one would be like one of those instead. Okay, so that can not white go all the way in but I can move this down and that gives me one pipe that I can put like that yeah and then this can go like that and water can go like that Then yeah, this one probably needs to feed up to the next one layer as well. So then all of these are going to be fed through this one pipe here. But yeah, I can also do it like this, maybe, if I need to. And this one can also feed that way. Uh, so let's see then. Okay, this one needs to be there. This one can move out. Okay, so that can, can, can connect like that.
Well, this connects to nothing, this connects to nothing. <laughs> yeah, it looks like these are not all connected to the solid or the light oil network. Okay, and then we need to figure out the petroleum. Lastly. Maybe I can just get that one just pulled out on the sides. Yeah, I think that's how I did it before. Like that. And then just feed it in like this instead. Here I do need to mind belts for input and output. So maybe something like this. These are mostly done. Can we get some more radar? Our plants are fully fed. Good. Oh, wow. Okay, this needs more red circuits. Which needs more plastic. Yeah. And that's what I'm working on here. So, I guess that means I can probably re enable the yellow signs. How many modules is this? Like <laughs> 300 modules? Oops. And 
how many how many productivity modules? Sixty-three. So let's continue continue making those at least. Oh, but yeah, again, not enough red circuits. What is this set to? 500. Okay, that can be 300. So I need belts here. Something like this can work. Maybe with better belts. Now this needs to come out slightly. So that it can do this. Oh, but that needs to be water. So I can just rotate that around. And then this one needs to be longer. the whole thing like that and then this goes this way and I probably don't need more belts than this but it's good enough for designing Ah, uh, this one though. Can't just do this. And yeah, I might need more inserters for either kind of those, but I'll figure that out later as well. And belt this way. Let's also feed that around the other way. And, there. and let's also place a few tanks out here to help even out the flow a bit. So one for petroleum, one for light, and one for heavy oil. Place a petroleum one here as well. Yeah, maybe all of them even. And there we 
go. This should, in theory, work. Except for, of course, it needs a whole buttload of power poles. I think I can probably just place them like that. Actually break through the walls. But I don't really think they will. So, okay. This one should at least work on these. Yeah. There. Okay. Does it also work in here? Not quite. But this should, maybe, perhaps. refineries and also all these beacons. So like that, like that, like that and like that I suppose. And I could do this a bit more efficiently with the power poles but ah, whatever. Finally some inputs here. for these. That might almost get tricky to pull in, but not quite. Let's put a water tank here, even out the flow, and yeah, so that one's gonna feed all of these. Do we need this pole? No. Okay, so that means I can put a, uh, a pipe here. Can almost make it all the way out. Mm -hmm. Doesn't really help much then. I think I can probably feed all those with this pipe. But then I need a pipe this way. can come all the way out on the other side and have a water tank there. And this one also needs water. As well as crude oil. Okay, I think this should work. So, place this somewhere good. Maybe close to the oil and the coal, actually. So, around here, maybe. Yeah, this should be a good spot. Then we can get some water in as well. That looks good to me. 
So now we need robot coverage. I would like this. Uh, oh, I guess I actually need to connect this up all the way over here also. There. And maybe I need to balance the sides. How much will this produce? Hello, Munimu. Does no more no walking mean I can't move? Yes. Means this. And. Uh, yeah, I'm doing this uh, using a, a mod that I made that simply sets my movement speed modifier to zero. Uh, you could do this challenge by also just not pressing the move buttons. But I added this just to keep myself walking accidentally. Uh, because uh, if you unbind the walking controls, then it also unbinds the map movement controls. And I'm not going to play this kind of thing without being able to do this with the movement controls. Uh, but yes, uh, no walking means you move around by riding belts like this. And if you like also by riding trains and stuff like that. I haven't driven any vehicles in this challenge as you can see if in, uh, in, in the panel below uh, in the stream info. But yeah, the so I have actually only moved around like this in this playthrough. But ever since I got uh, a couple of hundred robots, I haven't just been doing ever as much as I can through the map view like this. So yeah. That's what I'm doing here. And right now I'm trying to produce blue circuits and yellow signs and modules and all this kind of thing which consumes a lot of stuff in uh, marathon so right now i'm no low on plastic so i'm just finishing up this uh, moduled oil refinery actually plastic refinery because it pulls everything directly into plastic uh, without any other uh, any other products. But yeah. So now I need to figure out how to get everything I need into this. Which is going to need a bunch of coal, a bunch of water and stuff like that. Mo yeah, only those actually. So this is going to consume uh, 52 coal per second. That's two full red belts. It's going to have a speed factor of 6.5. Uh, which... No wait, that's the uh, plastic. I need to look at the oil. Okay, so this is going to consume 1000 water per second. 1000 L100. So that's actually not even a full offshore pump. That's that's good. That means I can probably feed this with just one pump and uh, just the pressure from overfilling this tank. Uh, but I think I'll do two pumps just to have a bit of extra pressure. And uh, this one was going to be water, but I think I'll move that one up in that case. Oh no, wait. No, I also need it down here, actually. So, water up this way. And then crude oil needs to come in here. 
And crude oil is going to be down here and up there. So let's pull this one down first. So that's crude oil, and I'll put a pump here to keep keep the pressure on here. And there. Okay, and then I need to to connect this crude oil as well, once I have cleaned it. Get rid of these. Move this forward. Yeah, let's just do like that. Keep it simple. And yeah, that's this secured. Once this is constructed. Gonna need some more radars here. Get a bit of radar out here as well. How far am I from artillery now, actually? Eight thousand, that's as much yellow signs as uh as space signs. Okay, so probably not getting artillery. This is working fine enough. Okay, these are now getting s started on constructing these. All oh, right, and I also need coal in here. So right, I need two full red belts here of coal. Which means I need to upgrade all of these. And let's see. Uh, let's pull some of this coal off here. Right, and I wanted to pull all of these in here as well. If I pull the belt off there, like that, and then I can pull another belt off there, like that. And I guess I need four of these, actually. So one, two... And three and four. That's not really going to work, is it? Going to do them like this instead. It's going to collide with this guy. But I can just take this down and these will cover it instead. Yep. Uh, so. That's one. That's two. That's three and four. 
And then I'll merge these into red belts. To keep it a bit more compact. So one of them goes in there. And the other one comes up here and somehow needs to replenish all of these. Eh, that's not really gonna work, is it? Not the way I've laid, laid it out here. But I can... can I? I cannot move this up. I can move the whole thing up. Yeah, I can do this. I just take all of this, move it one tile up. This one collides. Uh, so that one should stay. Okay. And then I can do that. These still connect. Fine. And then I can run this belt on this side. connects and this belt goes that way and then finally merges in here That one's not needed, so let's move this one in. Oh wait, I need outputs for these. Fortunately I can just hook this one up there. And this one... ...can go... ...there, quite simply. What are they destroying now? Okay, it's these. Okay, as expected. Yeah, this is pretty nice choke, actually. Probably just push all the way out here and take the choke. So maybe I should just place some uh, pump jacks down here.
I can be if I can place these pipes, but I cannot, so let's not do that one yet. Just gonna have to count on these to clear that out. And yeah. Get some pipes from here. Oops. I'll just move these. Some more room port coverage. It's good. I want some of these out of range. So let's get some more coverage here. Purples here too. What you do it? <laughs> yeah, I know I need. 300 beacons. Otherwise, it's just going to be very, very slow. <laughs> uh, and that is going to produce how much? 136 plastic per second. So that's way more than this one belt I have for it. is one of them. 17. Also one of them is actually enough to fill one half of a red belt already. Whoa. And that's also definitely going to need more than one inserter in that case.
So yeah, maybe I do need bluebirds after all. I just pull all of these circuits into into yellow science. It's only like a few hundred circuits or blue circuits. Oh, and I already have tons of blue circuits in there. But these are not working bazookas are out of Batteries, because batteries are out of petroleum. Because these are out of crude oil. Because these are stalled, because I messed up the pipes. And these, these are still working at least. This is working. Whoa. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not here at the moment. <laughs> Petroleum because this pipe was messed up and it's still not fixed. Yeah, this is still pumping a small amount of crude oil still. speed modules. Ouch. Yeah, it's not a lot. least.
Okay, this is fully upgraded. We can enable that lab. I actually have quite a lot of yellow signs stacked up now. It's only stack to 10 per stack. So I need more coverage there. For and the boxes forward? Uh, no, I didn't. Well, I think I copied. Uh, I think I placed a new set. Maybe I've deconstructed that now, even. Uh, whoops. Uh, here they come. been without a belt. <laughs> nice, it's cleared out. So let's see if these can get it together. It looks like this pipe... Okay. The pipe is placed, but there's no oil in it. Let's see if we can get these pipes down. 
then a flamethrower here or there. Couldn't get working. This one really isn't working. Oh, I'm actually getting kind of low flame flame throw charts. Kinda low, as in I have less than 500 of them in store. <laughs> this 
No more. Let's pick it up. Let this, let this whole thing stabilize a bit. And then place all of that in one go. And try to overwhelm the worms. So let's see where they're taking all of this. Yeah, and now they're dispersed. Oh, there's the new set of boxes, okay. Okay, they're going there with the walls. Flamethrower charts are stored there. Okay. Let's see if I can deconstruct some of the storage chests. Shouldn't need the ones I have up here anymore. So those should move forward, hopefully. Or maybe backward. <laughs> yeah, I kind of need the pipes up here, uh, or close to the front. Oh, but I don't need the boxes up there either. the big bunch of uh, chests. Okay, so let's deconstruct everything else behind the front lines. Okay, now they're bringing the pipes forward. Okay, that's much better. Cycle this now. Oops. No, do not recycle that. Okay, yeah, now they're bringing everything up here. Okay, very good. decided there were too many walls here and we'll go somewhere else to drop them
Uh, I guess these pipes should also connect this way, actually. To feed that up to the rest of the factory as well. Lasers are placed now. So let's make another attempt at this. I'll also get some more robot coverage down here. Here it comes. This should be a lot more effective, hopefully, if they can make it all the way without having to recharge, which they probably won't. But even if not, yeah, even if not, this should be a lot more effective. See if any of these flamethrowers can start firing. There it is. This one. And there. Yeah. There we are. So then we can get another. Layer those as well.
There's the middle battery firing. Now they have some proper walls set up as well. Stabilize eventually. A few more spawners down. The leftmost one has started firing now, taking out some of those worms. Perfect. That'll make it much easier to get those leftmost batteries back up again. With a few fewer worms firing at them.
That's another spawner down. Should be a few more spawners as well. Once it clears out the enemies. Okay, that's a worm. And another spawner going down. Looks like that flamethrower is destroyed. This flamethrower right here just started firing and just got immediately wrecked. <laughs> but it did take out a few spawners and worms in the process, so I call that a success. Now this rightmost one is taking out a few more worms. Yeah, slowly but surely making progress here. Okay, the worms on the left are gone. We have some space to place one more layer. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm done watching this for now. Go do something else. Okay, let's just watch this one take these spawners out. Ninety-three percent now. Evolution.
because these walls are right up against the turrets. That's no good. Oops. Yeah, that's not good at all. How oh, come I haven't noticed that until now? this for now. I'll let this settle down. Stabilize. Meanwhile, let's see what's going on here. Not much, because there's no crude oil here. But why? Ugh. Okay. Because I'm a klutz. Need to move. One space over this way. And then, yeah, I need to figure out the, uh, the output for these. Like I said, I might need blue belts for this actually. starters I'll just make yeah, I'll do a lane balancer on each of these This way. So, yeah, I'll just bring it all the way up, I guess. Not all the way up into the copper belt, though. Just put it in here. <laughs> Should be okay. How are we doing on the modules? Yeah, this is still 300 modules short. 
about as expected. Oh yeah, and I guess this is also going to consume a whole lot of productivity modules. That's not okay. It's not in range. <laughs> and none of this is either. I'm gonna have to patch that up too. Connect the networks here too. All right, almost cleared out. are working cool and these are working and those are working cool going slowly for now I guess we don't have any speed modules here but that should pick up over time as more speed modules arrive This is no good because this is no good. Oh wait. Ah, it's the roboports demanding several hundred megawatts. Hm. Yeah, beacons are quite power hungry. power. I'm going to need so many red circuits for that though. But I guess I have a few of them saved up here. And also a few green ones that I don't need there.
Let's take some of these down as well. They're not really useful here. Let's get them to the oil instead. I think this pipe probably can't handle all this throughput though. Oh, and this is not placed because it's not in range. Should cover all of it. Oh, whoops. This is no power anymore. That is quite important for the power supply. Yeah, that's not great. So these are on the power grid, it's just that the power grid is low on power right now. still working
Once 3.3 million ore patch is now down to the size that my starting ore patch was. But on a much smaller area, so this still has lower uh, a lower output rate. A lower output per second. Wow, we've made 40 speed modules since I last checked. Or, oh, I guess I've also recycled some of them actually. So how's that plastic going? Ah, another patch of uncoverage. Yes, yeah, so this is just going to be a trickle for now, unfortunately. modules for now and also those focus on these long lines instead Power's coming back up. Oh, <laughs> and also demand came came way down when I took all those beacons down. Has that blueprint been up for an hour already? Wow. Just in, in easily accessible range here. 
Yeah, I'm not consuming all the copper just right now. So yeah, I basically just need more plastic. So yeah, I just need all these modules to come up here. Basically. Can do some speed module 2 in these. So like... Wait... Uh, I'm an idiot. This doesn't work. Okay, so how do I do that then? It's going to be there, so I have two spaces of, of uh, leeway here. And I also can't do these four like that. Basically gonna have to redesign this whole thing. Just barely. So, let's see then. So here, 
So I can't do this. Or this. Can I fit this in here? Eh, almost. Good enough. This means I don't have to worry about all the trees in the way. But okay, so how to connect this up then? Because these need to move that way. don't have any output for these petroleums. Yeah. So I can do like this. Pull the petroleum forward like this. At least in this one. so much here. Instead I can pull the uh, heavy oil forward instead. Maybe I can do like this. Pull the petroleum sideways like this. Okay, that'll pull all this heavy oil in there and in there. That should work. And then I can take this sideways. And uh, this petroleum can also go sideways.
So what else do I need here then? So with that, I guess I won't have a uh, heavy oil tank for this. And the heavy oil will just be internal. Uh, but this is petroleum. Okay, let's see how this will work down here then. in the way. Okay. So now these pipes need to move. That mostly fixes things up. Such for these. Also need to figure out the solar or the light oil it needs to come back in this way. one let's 
put a tank there to even out the flow. Do I need petroleum on this side too? Yes. Just put a tank there too. Okay, that should do it. I think. See how that works. But I think we will have to see that in the next session because, yeah, this one is already long enough, maybe even too long. So, anyway, made quite a bit of progress, even so. Got the yellow signs up and 30% uh, of the way researched the rocket silo. And yeah, taken a bunch more territory, set up a bunch more oil, which we're currently not consuming quickly enough. And continue pushing this forward, yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be tricky. Well, maybe not so much. Okay, let's do that, and then that. That. Yeah, that should fix all this up. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully in the next session we can finish out the rocket silo and construct the rocket silo and then finally feed it with a bunch of materials. I guess I will need to get started on making uh, rocket control units as well. Which is going to need a lot of blue circuits. So yeah, we're going to need even more plastic for that. So probably need to get this one running at full speed. Or at least close to full speed. We want to get that running. But yeah, thanks everyone for watching. And I hope you have a good one, and I'll see you in the next session, when hopefully we can finish, finish this up. I'll see you then.